it's Kelly here with Kelly Crafts It All. What am I going to bring to you today? I'm going to bring you a tutorial. And the tutorial today is on how to make these flat fold envelopes. But they turn into a box. So what am I talking about? Okay, so I had made this one. thought I recorded the video, but I didn't. So what you do is you pop this open. It's just got a little piece of Velcro. And it opens up like this. And you have a little box. So what can you store in it? Well, maybe you want to send some flat mail or you're doing the swap and you want to keep things tidy and not you want to send maybe some cut up parts or some stickers or you know, anything flat. I mean, you could have quite a bit. I mean I could put more in here. But um I had gotten these in a swap. And uh you can take these little pieces of these are even, this is even a little shaker, and so is this one, and they fit in there, and that fits in there, and uh, all your little flat stuff, and put it together, and uh, you can probably put it, if you wanted to, you know, keep it flat, put it in another envelope, and mail it, you could, and it keeps it all nice and tidy. Um, you could make several of these up and put them in a box, and maybe decorate them in what's inside, you, you know. You can carry it away with them and do what you would like. So, anyhow, so what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need two pieces of 8.5 by 11. And um, designer series paper of your choice. Or if you want to just make your box in some designer paper, you're more, you know, you go ahead. Um, a ruler, some Velcro dots. Um, if you want to use magnets, you can. Uh, you know, anything, or you can just tie a ribbon around it, a piece of string, um, make a belly band, you know, anything you want to do to hold it. Okay, so, uh, we got two pieces of eight and a half by eleven, and my, uh, designer series paper. This paper is the, uh, Pink Spells by, uh, Decorate Your Life. It's the digital papers. I'll link it down below if you want to go check her out. I'm um, not sponsored by that. I do not have any discount codes for you. I'm sorry. Um, you might want to look around on YouTube. Uh, several people do uh, get give coupon codes for her store, but I don't have any. Okay, so what am I going to start out with first? I'm going to start with my eight and a half by eleven. And what's nice about this is you don't really have to cut a whole lot. You don't even really have to measure a whole lot, except for the top part. So you get your eight and a half by eleven, and on the eleven inch side. I don't need my scoreboard. So, uh, I'm just going to fold this in half the long way. Don't fold it, fold it in half. You can if you want. She did, uh, the video I seen was on Facebook. And, um, the video was kind of hard to follow. And, um, I hadn't seen it anywhere else. It's a type of origami folding. But, um, anyhow, so I'm folding this like this. And I'm just going to pinch my corner here. I'm going to go down here and make sure I'm even here. And then I'm just going to pinch my corner. Now, you, like I said, you can fold this all it is down in, in the middle if you'd like. I just didn't like the crease in the back of, of this. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take your 8.5 by 11, or the 11.5 inch side, or 11 inch side. And where you made that crease, you just line up your paper. Now, I haven't, mine's probably not going to turn out the greatest. Because I'm trying to keep this in, folk, in, in view for you and not have my head all up in the way. So, you just do that. You can use your bone folder if you need to, to uh, you know, burnish it down a little bit. And then you're going to come over here on the other side and you're just going to meet that up there. You're just going to butt that up to that side. You can try not to, you know, don't overlap it. So it should look like this. Now if you put the score down, if you folded your paper in half, you're going to have a line down through here. And then what we're going to do is where these are folded in, you're just going to make a triangle. And you're just going to meet this cut edge to this cut edge. So 
sometimes if you put your finger there, it'll help. And if you want to open that one up, you can, so you can see it better. Just make a... Now, this is 65 pound card stock that I'm using. It's a little thick. Um, it is the Park Lane uh, paper, 65 pound solid core. And then I'm going to move this one out of my way. And I'm going to fold this one. Same thing, just neaten them cut edges. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Get, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you have, but get a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out of your head. I've got, this is Halloween. I don't know why. I heard it. I think I heard it on the TV or I heard it on YouTube or something. And one goes, this is Halloween, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, it, it's stuck in my head for some odd reason. Alright, close this back up. And then you got your triangles right here and right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip this over and you're just going to fold more. Better for me is I take this and I fold it this way first. Just like this. Folding it in. And then I'll fold it back. And that way then it's even with the bottom of that. Give that a good smush. And that just helps keep everything even. Because we're not using a scoreboard. We're just folding. Okay. Now we're going to lay this out. Um, these little corner ones, I like to fold them backwards on the opposite side. It helps. To me, it just kind of helps when we're folding this up. Alright, so now we're going to open this up flat. Just like for a regular sheet of paper. And where you had, you know, the these. I'm going to fold those back up. I'm just going to give them a little, a little burnish. Okay. So now you have all these little triangles and you have one big triangle. That one big triangle, you're just going to take these little fold pretty much by itself. You're just going to fold it like this. And if it's not all in line, it's not the end of the world. It's handmade. So what I like to do is just get my glue I don't, I don't, it helps if I take the thing out of my glue. And uh, these are going to fold down to there. And I just put some glue on this big triangle. And I'm just going to fold these in. And you can even lay them flat if you need to. Turn it up on its side. <laughs> Try to bend this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing is just burnishing that down. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to lay that big triangle now flat. Squeeze a little more glue in there. And you would take your time and glue it really good and nice. I'm just trying to give you the gist of the idea if you would like to make some of these. And then you can... just going to do that on the same thing on the other end. I so I could fold that down. So you have 
the box part. Now you would go ahead and glue yours better, <laughs> use more glue, and um, let it dry a little bit. Just let it dry for a little bit so it really takes a hold. And then what you do is you just fold this in like this and push these down. And you can give those a little burnish to help make it stay down a little bit or, you know, just, and you just open it like that. Okay, so we got that done. And you need your second piece of eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, this one we do have to measure. But it's an easy measurement. It's you're gonna measure this at four by six and a half, I think. Let, let's check. Let me check, let me check. So get it in inches, not centimeters. Yeah. Okay, it's good. Oh, four and a quarter. Four and a quarter by six and three quarters. Alright, so four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. By six and three quarters. There's something on my paper, but it ain't gonna matter because it's gonna get covered up anyway. Six and three quarters. And uh, that's all you need for that. And that will be your your. Get up the glue off my fingers. That will be your flap for this. So if you don't want to put the little point on it, you don't have to. You can leave it just like this. But if you want to put the point on it, what we're going to do is we're going to measure, we're going to measure from the bottom, well, find your center first. You know how I find the center for this because it's an odd, it's like three and three eighths. I just fold this in half and put just a teeny, teeny little pinch mark right there. And then I find my pencil, maybe. <laughs> And then I just make a, just make a mark right there. It's like three and three eighths is the center. Up one inch from the bottom. On both the sides. Now that should have been, I need that to be more on the outside here. So you have this mark, this mark. Don't put your three eighths at that top part. Put your three eighths down here. Or three and three eighths, I'm sorry. So you fold it. So all your marks are on one side. Yeah. Okay. So you have a mark at the top and a mark on two sides. Now you're gonna you can lay your ruler here, you can draw a line and cut it with your scissors, or if you're, you know brave and have long scissors, you can just cut those off, you put it in your paper trimmer, so if you cut it with the ruler and scissors, you just match up that line to your one inch, you go like that, do that, um, and cut that with your scissors, just like so, and I always cut my, try to cut my pencil line off, now if you're using your paper trimmer, you're going to put this point on the cutting line and you're just going to line that mark up with the cutting line and that tip with the cutting line like so and then you can lay that down and cut it that way so whatever makes you happy then we've got that flap okay now you get your designer series paper and usually I always have things cut out, but I wanted to show you this really cute print that uh, decorates your life hat. And I just thought this was the cutest. Like I said, this is Pink Spells. It's the name of the digital. It's a digital paper, and I think she she also prints it herself and sells it. 
Um, like I said, I'll link her, her, well, I'll link her channel and I'll link her store down below. And um, like I said, you might want to go watch some YouTube videos, see if you can find some discount codes. I don't have any. So, um, this is going to be... I think I cut mine at six and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, six and a half by, I'm gonna say by four, yeah, six and a half by four. So you'll need your designer's paper to be six and a half. I'm sure I said four. Oh my goodness. Yeah, four. So I know I wanna to try to keep this with this, so I'm gonna cut this part off the bottom here. Six and a half by four. Okay, six and a half by four. So I'm just gonna this in here. And then you'll also need a two inch piece by six and a half. So what is that? Yeah, six and a half. <laughs> Two by six and a half. So then I'm going to just go ahead and cut a piece like that. And then we need this to be six and a half. I'm going to cut this off here. Come on, this way. Six and a half. And, oops, sorry guys. Clang at you. And then you have to decide where you want to cut. I mean, now if you want to get it centered and cut it, you know, you're more than welcome to do all that. I think I'm going to just cut it like that. All right. So, we're going to get our and then we're going to measure this the same way. I'm just going to fold this. Make sure you've got your, if it's directional, you're working on the bottom of your paper. And I'm just going to fold that in half and give that a little crease. And then, like I said, we're just going to measure up one inch. And then once again, I'm going to cut it just like we did the flap. Draw it out. Okay. And it's not faster, but it works for me. And let me just cut this out. Like so. And this gets glued here. You might want to erase your pencil marks or just even flip it over and do that. So we're going to glue this. Now, I left my glue open. I didn't put my thing in there. And like I said, you guys are going to glue this way better than I'm doing. Okay. Now, if you wanted to use a magnet, I would cut two of these, put one on either side, and put your magnet in here. I'm just going to use the Velcro dots for now. So, we'll get that all burnished down. Okay, so set that aside. Get your two-inch piece. This is going to go in the front here. If you want. You don't have to. You, just, you do you. You decorate how you want to. There's really no rules in crafting as long as it comes out how you want it to come out. If it came out how it made, 
If it came out how you expected and it made you smile, then you made it right. And we leave this one plain because we're going to glue this up. And then we're going to just line this up on the top here. Just a hair bit long, but that's all right. It's not gonna hurt anything. If I don't like it, I can actually just kind of snip it off a little bit. But really, it's not that bad. But there. And then you have your envelope box. <laughs> Type thing that now you can stick all your, you know, ephemera pieces in or stickers or whatever. Uh, and get your Velcro dot if you would like and put a Velcro dot on there. Uh, you can make a belly band. Like I said, you could make a belly band to have the, so you've got a, you know, another piece here left over. Um, which, you know, you might have to cut a couple pieces or get another piece of paper if you want it to be the right length. And, um, or you could, you know, even take, uh, some string and just wrap some string around it. And you have some pink here. You could just, you know. And you can decorate the back of it, too. If you want to cut out a, a piece of paper, you can, you can do that, too. You could just, you know piece of ribbon, some twine, you know, it's endless however you want to do it. I'm sure you're going to come up with some awesome ideas. And like I said, then you can stick all your little goodies in there. All right, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. And uh, you might want to stick around or, you know, subscribe if you'd like to subscribe because I'm going to give a giveaway. Not in this video, but I'm going to make a video for a giveaway. And uh, I hit a thousand and two subscribers today. This is Sunday, uh, Sunday, October 15th. So technically it was Saturday. I hit a thousand and then I got two more on Sunday. So today, so I'm um, at a thousand and two. So uh, I've been on YouTube for I think three, four years. So, it's taken me a minute to get there, but I made it. And it's not a big thing for me, because, you know, the numbers don't matter to me much. I just come on here to do my thing, show you things that I'm doing, and to show my uh, swaps in, you know, hauls from sewing something. Just to show you what I'm doing, and if you'd like to follow along and make what I'm making, you're more than welcome to. So, uh, that's it, guys. So, uh, go in and make you some little envelopes, boxes, envelope boxes, and uh, you can stack these up and put them in a box maybe, and, and put a, she had, did have a, like a little tab, she did cut like a little tab and put it on there, you could put tabs on the backs of these, and maybe put them in a box and put, you know, your fall, your Halloween, Christmas, and uh, maybe stack them in so you can keep track of your stuff. Alright guys, we get out of here. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Remember, I love each and every one of you. Hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.